Hi everyone, this is another video tutorial about rendering animations and videos from processing. So this is um, made for beginners <laughs> because um, I already published a, a, a tutorial about video export with processing a few months ago, but that was quite advanced and very difficult. And the problem with that pro uh, tutorial was that you have to install something on your operating system, which was quite overwhelming for the beginners. So this is basically a beginner's tutorial for rendering animations with processing. Okay, cool. So I have a sketch here. Uh, in theory, it can be any sketch. You can take any sketch that generates a visual on the sketch window. And uh, first of all, inside of the sketch folder where this sketch is located, we have to create a folder called output. And this is the folder where we will store the single images that we later on using the movie maker tool that we later on put together right? Uh, just like in a stop motion film. And to render single images in processing, we can use a function called save frame. And this function receives a parameter or an argument which defines the file name, right? Because I've created this output folder here, I put output slash in here, which then points the files into that folder here. And after the, uh, well, the uh, folder name and the slash, I put the file name, let's just say image, and then, then I put a few hashes here and say uh, .png, right? So this saves PNG files, and you can also use TIFF or JPEG, but PNG is great for vector graphics, so that's why I used PNG. And um, these hashes here define uh, or are placeholders where the uh, application puts the um, frame count, right? So if I run the sketch now and if we have a look into the output folder, we will see that the processing sketch generates uh, many images that have an individual number, image 0006, image 0007, and so on, right? So these are all now in, a, in order, in exactly that order where we want to render the animation. Cool. So, um, this is a visual that uh, rotates 360 degrees and when it reaches 360 degrees it would make sense to stop the animation because then we get something like a perfect loop. And that's what we can do by saying if frame count equals to 360 then exit. Right? And this says nothing else than exit the sketch rendering or basically exit the whole sketch um, when the frame code reaches 360. Let's run the sketch again. I just deleted all the images because I was not sure if uh, 360 was exceeded. This is what we are doing now here is creating the material for a perfect loop. Maybe that's interesting for you. And because we are using the frame count, which just rotates these elements here on the sketch window, uh, 360 is the uh, appropriate number to, to exit and stop the sketch. All right, it's rendering, it's rendering 255. Okay, the render process is running. That's wonderful. Um, okay. Cool. So now we have 360 images of this visual here. Yeah, what we can do now, we can go to take this output folder open the so-called movie maker tool which is can be found here in the tools menu and we can drag or you can drag this folder into this field and then you will specify the folder where the images are that you want to put together as a video here you have to define a frame count or the phrase or your frame rate and here you I always check this option saying uh, same size as, as original so it will apply the size of the sketch and then you can create the movie with the create movie button here. Let's save it. It's a rendering. Here we are. There's this animation, right? So that's the whole magic. It's super simple, super easy to use. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it for now. See you in the next video.